Hello everyone, welcome back. We've got another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to create some smoke or haze effect. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, a lot of people, if you have access to stock footage, you can actually buy stock footage of like smoke or haze or whatever you're looking for and then simply place that in the upper layer here and blend it to your taste. That is probably the easiest way to do it, but you know what? We don't all have access to that, so um, if you need to create it synthetically, we can create it ourselves. So click on this layer here. I've just got some stock footage here. And right-click it. We're going to start working in After Effects for this one here. So replace with After Effects comp uh, Composition. And it's going to open up in Trusty After Effects. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, now... There are two different ways to do it, um, and I'm just going to open up, uh, let's go, where are we looking, we'll not distort, pardon me, there's two different, there's two um, styles that'll do it, and you look under the noise and grain, pardon me, one of them, if you use fractal noise, and the other one is turbulent noise, these create the necessary noise to kind of mess up and make it look all smoky, so... To get this going, we're going to click off this layer here, and I'm going to create a new layer, and we're going to create a new solid to work on, so let's just go right ahead and do that. And it can be a black solid, doesn't really matter, because uh, we're going to drop this effect on it. So let's work with turbulent noise, it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to drop that on here, and what do we have? We've got a yeah, kind of weird looking, smoky looking thing going on here. Not what we're looking for right away. But let's go down to the mode here, and let's go from normal. Let's start looking at a couple different options. Let's look at overlay. Overlay is always a, is a personal favorite. It works quite well. Um, you're already going to see that there looks to be some smoke in the background now. It kind of just came out of nowhere. So with a simple one-step process, we've created some mist and smoke in the background. Perfect. Now, what we want to do over here is I'll take a quick tour of here. There's all different types of uh, fractal types. So right now we've got basic, and basic actually works quite well. But if you want to look at the other ones, there's turbulent smooth, which doesn't do what we're looking for. Turbulent sharp, which is over the top. But, you know, as you can see here, dynamic actually, that's got a nice look to it. If we do a little bit of adjusting to it, we could get some smoke going on there. But whatever, you can go ahead and adjust that as you see fit. Let's take a look at smeary, actually. What's that look like? Oh, jeez. That ain't right. And swirly? Nope. Okay, so let's go back to basic. Also, there's four different types of noise types. There's block, which is not what we want. There's linear. That's not bad. The one we had before was soft linear. Also not bad. And spleen or spline is also quite nice as well. Um, but anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Let's go back to soft linear. Let's create some smoke. The next step you need to know is we're gonna do evolution evolution is if you see me twirl it here gives it that motion you will see as I twirl the little dials there it goes and it, and it gets the smoke moving so we don't want static smoke or static mist because that's kinda pointless so let's go ahead and we're gonna animate the evolution so click the evolution button here notice how my playhead is at the beginning and let's go to the end of the clip down here and let's get the smoke I don't know let's animate it let's do four yeah let's do four revolutions and see what happens or four evolutions sorry Darwin um, and anyways let's take a look at what we've got right here I'm gonna do a RAM preview just so you can see what we've got the first RAM preview might be a little bit jilty because it's a little slow but look we've already got some movement in the in the mist there we've got the smoke action going on just like that we can, of course, make some more adjustments, and we will. But you know what? If that's the look you're looking for right there, you know what? We're done. You just can it. You've got it. So here we go. This is what it looks like right now. That's actually a lot of movement, if you ask me. So let's. we, we want it to be a more subtle movement. So instead of four, let's go down to like two, maybe. Let's go down to two. And that'll probably be a, bit, a little bit more realistic. Now... To get in and make some more changes, um, oh, let's take a look here. We got contrast. So if we want to reduce the contrast, and it is a little bit overdone at, you know, if you go up to like 300, it's whoa, what the hell. 
um, you know, or if it's too low. But at 100, which is where we start, it's a little bit too much if you ask me, so I'm going to drop it down. We want it to be a more subtle effect, so let's see what that looks like. Okay. That is a bit more subtle. I like it. Now let's get in a little bit deeper here. Uh, complexity, uh, if you want it to be, this is something you can adjust as well. Uh, the more complex, let's take a look at, at a highly complex look. A 7 versus a totally non-complex look, and this is a really slow slider, holy smokes. Uh, it's more blurry, smeary, so let's see what that looks like. Hmm. I don't know. Also works, but, you know, let's go back to where we were, because you can adjust this. This is also a little bit processor intensive, so keep that in mind that this is not always happening in real time. This uses a lot of processing power to do these type of effects. Subsettings, not a big deal, but we can actually dig in just a bit further. Look at some things like turbulence factor, random seed. Eh, not really too big a deal. Um, the other thing you might want to look at is uniform scaling. This is kind of cool if you click it off because you can actually change the width and the height and they don't scale together. So if you want really wide looking action, let's see what this looks like. This this might be good for like a a misty day. Let's see here. Yeah, how about that? That looks like a nice morning mist kind of nice effect. What do you think, guys? Cool. Let's see what we got going on there. Yeah, that works pretty good. I'm going to undo it. Uh, the other one is if you want to like the light streak look. These are like up and down light streaks. So let's go way, way, way out. This looks like some sort of light streak action in the morning. So here we go. See that? They're really high up and down. Um, those are basic light streaks. Uh, not really the effect we're looking for in this case, but something to know. I'm going to undo it to 100%. But realistically, guys, that's a bit long-winded explanation of how to create smoke or mist or haze or whatever you want to call it. Inside Adobe Premiere Pro, you click on the After Effects, you open up After Effects, and bang, now we've got a misty morning. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be back more with some more. Cheers. Bye-bye.